Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. Today I'm going to show you how I render pig fat into lard. Lard has a bit of a bad reputation, but it's actually a very minimally processed and healthy source of fats. You can use lard for many things, but we predominantly use it for cooking, soaping, and moisturizing. So, I'm going to use the crock pot method to make lard today. I'm also going to be using my KitchenAid with the meat grinder attachment. The meat grinder is totally not necessary. You can also just cut the pork fat into small pieces, but grinding the pork is definitely going to quicken this whole process for you. This is 16 ounces of pasture-raised pig fat, and today I'm going to show you how I turn it into lard. This is my husband Gary, and he's being awesome and cutting the pig fat for me. I could totally do it, but I'll definitely take his help. <laughs> so this is the difference. This is leaf lard that is more... Yeah? You know about it? You know about leaf lard? <laughs> uh, that breaks apart more easily. And then these big square strips are back fat. The back fat makes good soap. Leaf lard makes really good lard for cooking and baking. So he was just cutting the pig fat into smaller pieces so he could fit it into the small hole in our grinder. And now he's just pushing the fat through. And it's going directly into our crock pot. So like I said, it's not necessary to have a grinder. You could also just cut the pig fat into very small pieces before you started to render the lard in your crock pot. So here I turn the crock pot on low and I keep the lid off for most of the time to keep the heat down and I just do a nice slow render. I usually do this on a day that I know that I'll be home for a while while you can render some lard within two to three hours. Uh, I like to take it much slower and just let it render throughout the day. Um, this batch rendered for seven hours. This is about one hour in and you can see the fat is starting to render. Many recipes call for some water so you do not burn the fat when you begin the rendering process, but I haven't found that to be necessary as long as you stir frequently. So I use a cheesecloth over a fine mesh strainer and a canning funnel uh, to funnel into some clean jars. The funnel definitely helps make it less messy. So this is at the end of the night, seven hours in. It 
and you'll get about two quarts of lard from one pound of pig fat. And then I just put it aside and gave it a chance to solidify. And there you have it, two quarts of lard. I could have maybe rendered this batch for longer and gotten a little bit more lard, uh, but two quarts was all I set out to get and the sun has gone down and I've put the baby to bed and I must go to bed too. And here it is. <clears throat> nice and white and no porky smell. You can, however, tell which one I canned first. It's just slightly more white than the other one. <laughs> you can use this for cooking, baking, soaping. Uh, I make a nice moisturizer out of it with some eucalyptus oil and some coconut oil. It's minimally processed, a healthy source of fats, and totally affordable. It's also a really easy thing to do at home. All right guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed making lard with me. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more. Join me next week for making uh, old-fashioned lard soap.